All right guys, Luke Freeman here, Twin Trimmers. We're gonna do a comparison of these three mowers. Really quick, it's about to rain, but we got time. The Kubotas are actually gonna, we're gonna take them back tonight because it's gonna rain. But we're, let's go ahead and get right into the comparison. All right guys, so here we have the Kubota Z720X, I mean 726X. Uh, it's got the full suspension seat, the Kawasaki FX-A1B, 60 inch deck. Um, Huge, it goes 11.7 miles per hour. Uh, that's pretty much the stats on it. Then here's the Kubota Z421. Uh, it's got a 60 inch deck, also. It's got a Kawasaki uh, FS730B, and uh, it has a 60 inch deck, and it goes 10 mile an hour. And then here's the Toro Titan HD. And it has the Toro engine on it with the 52 inch deck. So, on the, comparing all of them, this one has the full suspension seat. That one has just the regular uh, non suspension seat at all. And that one has the semi suspension seat with the firmer soft on it. Um, that We did put a shoe blocker on it because we own that one. And that one has a 52 inch deck, and these have 60s. We do like the 16 inch deck better just because for our properties we have a little bit bigger ones. So the comparison for these, to change the deck height on this one, the Toro, it's just got the drop pin in there as you guys know. And on this one, it has the uh, dial. And then, and then on the parking brake for these, the, the Kubotas have a foot parking brake and the Toro has the hand parking brake, as you guys can see. All right, guys, and then another thing is going to be the engines. These both have the Kawasaki's, and then that one has the Toro. That's the main difference between these. The Kawasaki's definitely, you can tell they have more power. Another thing is the tires. Look at that tire difference right there. The tires on these mowers are huge. Look at that. Just the difference there and then the difference there are huge. We definitely do like our Toro, but the Kubotas are definitely have a lot more upgrades that ours does not. Definitely, I mean, the Kubotas are more expensive, so there's a side there, but at the same time, these are really nice mowers. Like Isaac was saying, it's got the 60 inch deck, the foot park, foot parking brake. That's to put the deck in position. The control pedal is really nice. It's got the fuel gauge. The suspension seat. This is all around a full commercial mower, and this mower is awesome. Sorry for the dogs in the background. Um, this one here, the Commander Pro. You can't even tell that it doesn't have a suspension seat just because of how the mower is built. The tires help you hold hills a lot better, and just look how wide the stance is. That mower is a beast. Definitely for the price point, you get the Kawasaki engine, the dial, like for the deck, the parking brake, like pretty much everything, just the suspension seat and the Kawasaki. That one's a little bit more beefier compared to this one. But the Commander, Commander Pro is definitely good for what we're doing. Um, that one's a little bit big, but you know, you gotta think big and for the future growth, they're be definitely great mowers. For where we are right now as a company, this Toro, it's really nice and it works, but we feel we can see ourselves upgrading to some one of these two. I'm not saying it has to be a Kubota, but I am saying this demo has Open our eyes to see what Kubota does offer. Um, the guys at Coleman have let us borrow them or rent them or what are they? Demo them. And uh, we're about to take them back. We're going to get some footage of that. But just really a comparison. We love these Kubotas a lot. I mean, I can't say enough great things about them. The price point, they're really great for what you're getting. This compared to the Laser ZE series with a 16 inch deck, you're talking like $2,000 or $3,000 cheaper. This one here. It's going to be more expensive than that Toro right there, about $1,500 more. But at the same time, you get all the upgrades. You get the Kawasaki engine, the seats, honestly, just as good as that seat over there. The dial for the deck, parking brake, beef your tire, beef your deck, stripe better. Uh, the roll bars, the roll bars are actually really nice. So, I mean, just looking at it, you have the pump. I see the gas tank on this one's a little bit bigger, but the Kubota all around compared to that Toro, it's definitely worth the price point of $1,500 to $1,000 different. You can't beat it. The Toro, it's you got pretty much everything the guy wants for going into it. Uh, it's got the gas tanks, it's got the good engine, suspension seat, semi-suspension. 
I mean, it's got the good control panel, panel, the 52 inch deck. For guys starting out, 52 inch is what I recommend because you can get the big properties and the small properties. So, the Kubotas, they definitely opened our eyes to see what Kubota does offer. The I didn't think there would be as big of a difference compared to these two as I th as there actually is. We definitely like riding on that Kubota a lot more. And they're actually the difference between these is mainly just the suspension seat. The engine's just a little bit bigger, and you have like a gas gauge and stuff like that. Definitely, it is a lot more beefier. But sitting on the two, it's just they don't seem too big of a difference. Like they're not too different. Um, these things are so fast though. The Kubotas, they are like crazy fast. Sit, like I've sat on that Toro today and tried to go, and I'm used to just being able to slam the handles down and go. But on that Toro, it's just slower. Isaac, you want to tell the specs on the speed on these things? Uh, yeah, like I mentioned earlier, that one goes 11.7 miles per hour. This one, it goes 10 miles per hour, and our Toro goes 8 mile an hour. The price point for these things, this one's I think 8 grand, maybe a little bit more than that. This one is $6,500. Uh, those two are before taxes, and you're looking at about five grand for that one. So it's about $1,500 jumps in between each one of these. Um, it just depends on what you're doing. For starting out, guys, we really recommend the Toro. Uh, we're cutting 35 yards a week, and we use the Toro, and we really like it. But sooner or later, maybe in the next couple, I, w I don't say this season, but probably next season and the season after that, We'll definitely probably end up upgrading to something more like the Z720X or maybe even just the Commander Pro. Um, we really like the Kubotas, but it doesn't have to be a Kubota. It may be X Mark Toro Skag, anything like that, but we really like these Kubota motors right now. But that is our comparison of these three zero turn mowers, and I'm going to let Luke finish it for you guys. Yeah, we want to uh, give a big thank you to Coleman Tractor. Jed, they help us set up this demo. We got them for we got them yesterday and we're taking them back tonight. So we had them for 20 or four hours, but that doesn't matter to us. They said we could keep them for almost like four, over 48 hours or something like that. So it just shows you we don't need them because it's about to rain. So there's no reason for us to just keep them sitting in our garage for the rest of the night. We're gonna take them back to Coleman. We'll get some videos of that. But these mowers are really nice. If you have not checked in some Kubotas, you definitely should because the price point compared to some Laser Z's. You're getting a bet mower just as good. Actually, the Kawasaki engine on this one is better, is bigger. You're getting a mower just as good or better, but $2,000 cheaper, you can't beat it. And the dealer support, Coleman Tractor is a great dealer. The Commander Pro, we love it too. I've grabbed the Commander Pro every, almost every single time I pull it off the trailer. Just because I like it for the yards we're doing, it's a little bit smaller. You don't have to worry about rutting everything up, but definitely these two can Kubotas have opened our eyes to see what our future holds for our company, what mowers we could potentially get, and uh, we're going to finish it here. Uh, thanks for watching this video. This comparison will come out within the next couple of days. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you later, guys.